What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Tool Springs. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been having weird fishing experiences out there where I'm not really getting that many fish and I've been seeing people posting pics here at Floyd Lamb Park where they're catching some big channel catfish and uh, some big bass. Now I of course want to get in on this action that is why I'm out here today uh, going to try and find any fish whatever is willing to bite. going to start off using my carp setup uh, with my second rod baiting some night quarters to try and find some channel catfish. So let's get to it. guys so I'm getting a million little hits just like that uh, that's probably some fish busy eating the corn pack bait uh, so they have to grab the hook and swim off of it and that way the line pulls out otherwise if I now try to set the hook there won't be any fish on there because they're not necessarily on the hooks they're feeding on the pack bait of course the line is jumping like that because they are grabbing the little feeder and moving it around that's why the line is moving that much might also be some of the ducks trying to steal some of the baits but the best we can do is wait for it to either start running or wait for it to completely stop giving no more action then i can rebate There we go, fish on. Took 18 minutes worth of feeding and nibbling to finally grab the hook. Does not feel like the biggest fish in the lake or in the pond, but at least we're getting some carp. There we go, about the same size as the first one. These are some of the smaller fish, a year or two old perhaps. Let's quickly get the net to land him. There we go, fish in the net. Might be slightly bigger than the previous one. Some red on the tail. Let's get the hooks out of him. All right, guys, second fish landed. Let's get him back into the water. That's not a problem. 
see if we can get release on this one and away he goes straight down is what we want to see all right guys missed the hook set on this one it seems to be a bit bigger carp almost took the rod into the water so let's quickly bring him in I am of course using 15 pound test line, but we still don't want to force the fish in. Hooks might still tear out. And I think it knows it's hooked. These fish put up a decent fight. Not the strongest fighting fish, but it is a very strong power. I'm going to try and fight the fish, but still get some footage of it at least. <laughs> yes, it's a bit bigger carp. Again, not the biggest out there, but a decent sized one. fish still has lots of power of course in the summer months they're feeding well water is warmer they tend to have a lot more power in them all right let's get the net try and land him But bigger, decent sized carp. Let's get the hook out of him. This guy was hooked twice through the lip. Wasn't going to get off there. Bit bigger carp some decent weight to him. Let's get him back into the water. And down he goes. Blowing bubbles as he's swimming away. Always a good sign. There we go guys, another fish on. Drop my little pole with the rod and the rod stander into the water. I'll fetch that in a while. To first worry about getting this fish in. Feels a bit funny, doesn't feel like a carp. Maybe we do have a catfish on. Fish is already swimming at the top. It would be ironic to get catfish on corn when we've been trying with the night crawler on this side full of catfish. But no, it is a carp, it's just a very dark looking carp.
see one of my hooks is missing but let's quickly get the net so we can land this guy Right, that last hook popped out. Luckily, we got the fish in the net. Still counts. Found my second hook. It's in the tail of the fish. Let's remove that. Just gonna get some pliers. Never mind, fish escaped, swimming away with my hook. That's why you need to pay close attention and protect the fish, not just leave them unattended like I just did. But don't worry, that hook will rust out, should not harm the fish. That's why they have the slimy coating and everything. That hook should rust out in a while, no harm to the fish. And not a very graceful release, but at least the fish was released back into the water. Alright guys, I did manage to lose my little rod holder there. Cannot find it in the water, it's way too murky. Uh, so I have to make do, making a different plan, just to get my rod out there. Probably going to catch only one more fish like this, and then I'll try for some different fish. I mean, I came out here with night crawlers expecting to catch some channel catfish, but seeing how the carp are biting this good, catch a few then we'll try for some different fish all right guys another fish on again not a big one but a feisty one just want to get him around my other line Fish is close by, just want to tire him out a bit. Still has quite a lot of strength in him. Alright, let's get the net. And there we go, fish landed. Alright guys, let's get him back into the water. And there he goes. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's been two hours of carp fishing and it's getting hot real quick out there. But not catching a lot of fish lately, it's great fun to be out there catching the carp. But that is not the main reason why I'm out here today. So for now I'm going to pack away the little carp setup. And I'm going to swap over to this. Uh, it's a, <clears throat> this is something new that I saw in the shops. I know that their uh, lures that they make have some special scent that fish seem to love. So I want to give the worms a try to see whether that works out. So I'm going to try finding some bluegill or green sunfish and hopefully moving around trying to find some of the catfish we know are in these waters. All right guys, have my little piece of night crawler on there, seeing some bluegill where the fresh water runs in. Let's see if we can get some. Fish I'm seeing are quite small, 
so I'm breaking my cooler in half. There we go. Managed to get ourselves a tiny little bluegill. Let's get him in the light so we can have a look at him. Clearly have the spawning colour still. Lovely blue on the chin. But hey, that's our second species for today, little bluegill. Lovely little tiny bluegill. Let's get him back into the water. And off he goes. And it's really that simple. Just a small piece of night crawler. I have this on a little trout magnet so it sinks down so I don't have to add additional split shot. And I'm trying to find where the fish are. And they're going to hide in structure or they're going to be where there's fresh water. That's why I'm fishing at this little inlet at the moment. So I believe that's where the fish will be. Letting it sink down to the bottom. I can feel the little hits on the rod. Lots of one inch baby bass also swimming around. But of course this piece of hook is too big for them. There goes bluegill or green sunfish next to this rock. And we managed to catch another baby little blue gill. Saw the bigger fish swimming away. And that one back into the water. That small guy went for it instead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've now been fishing out here for a couple of hours and it really is starting to get pretty hot out here. Uh, if you want to do something like this, remember to bring loads of water out here with you. But heat exhaustion is a real thing. Uh, you can feel your energy draining in this heat. Uh, this is kind of the big problem with fishing for catfish. Your baits need to be soaking out there for quite a while find some fish and with the heat we tend to spend shorter times out here fishing. Uh, I was really surprised at the amount of carp that we're willing to feed. That's real quick, something like 10 minutes between each cast to actually catch some carp out there. But as far as the other fishing going, it's very slow fishing. Stuff like the bluegill and the green sunfish, you can see them around but they're not committing to the base. It's kind of like they're not in the mood to eat at the moment. Uh, the point that I'm trying to make is don't expect to get out here and be catching fish left, right and center. That's not how it works. It's long hours sitting and waiting for something to happen. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comments. If you've not subscribed to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button, join my community, hit the little bell notification next to that if you want to know when I upload videos. All right guys, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.